Hearts sit outside all day, every day. Some look a little more sketch than others. Mm. Some look a little more newer than others. And here's the thing, I don't want my food touching some cart that could possibly be from the 1970s. I don't know how old it is. But I also would like the fact that I can carry all of my groceries in one fell swoop, yep. piece by piece, and you gotta get two of them. What you're looking at is from the cart caddy, it's a set of two heavy duty tote bags. For $17.46, their customer top rated Jeff Meyer. It's good to see you. It's so good to see you, How good morning. How are you, good morning. So this is what you're gonna be bringing home, a set of two. Yep. But these are specifically engineered to go inside a cart. Absolutely correct. We'll show you a lot of ways this can be used, but right here you see there's these clips on the side. Yeah. That clips on the side of the cart. So when you open it up, it clips in there as you're at the checkout you fill it up the real secret to this is the bottom here see how this is flat it's yeah. a square it's 14 by 17 so when it's in the back of your car filled up with everything it's not going to tip over so 14 by 17 that, is the measurement that we're bringing home today on the on the bot just on the bottom there but oh, okay, it opens okay. up wider gotcha. now when you have a plastic bag you know these fall over maybe about a week later you go what's that smell you find an old banana in the back of your oh, car no. And when you go to carry these, these cut into your fingers like that and eventually just rip. Well, and then they and they double bag that, and then that's a waste of, you know, recycling and, and all that stuff. And, and they and charge you up to a quarter for a plastic bag nowadays. Like it's some sort of great privilege you're getting. Hey, that's a quarter, maybe it's a dime. And then these end up, you see them in the trees, you see them in the mm -hmm. landfill. They last up to a thousand years. Then we wow. have the paper bag. Maybe it was a good idea mm -hmm. a long time ago, but again... This takes, this takes trees to make, you know, these yep. fall over, all that sort of stuff. There's a better way. It's the cart caddy. We always say it goes to the grocery store once a week. Yep. But you're going to find so many other uses for it. We sure. hear callers. I bring one up all the time. He bought these for all his workmen, a construction company. Yeah. Guy. Up on the roof, all their tools went in the cart caddy. That's you what he used what? it for. It, it helps me make one trip I'll, you know what i mean i'll carry it in anything and this is your opportunity to do so my dad bought these for my stepmom because she was going to the farmer's market she was yep. going gardening and all that yeah this was wide enough for her to be able to put those flowers those plants in there and when it opens up it's going to be 14 inches in length and it's going to be 13 inches high so there's a lot of depth my my gosh well it holds 40 <laughs> wow. pounds now that's why i have this here. there's five gallons of water it weighs eight eight pounds times is 40 pounds right there wow. a friend of mine one day said we should make something that carries the water bottle and i said no i got some it's called the car caddy yeah I got there it the is that caddy. shows you 40 pounds in there this is not flimsy and if you're lucky enough to belong to one of those you know uh warehouse stores i belong to one they give me my their recycling on the way out they say please take this home yes. recycle it this happens to have had cantaloupes in it and this is not that. a good thing. And gosh knows what you're bringing home. That's in. exactly I don't right. It's coming from you. another country. There could be bugs in it or yeah. whatever. And so I that's no you, good. We get rid of that. But my recycling is finny, finicky. Yeah. They won't take something like that that can't be broken I have, down. Then you have to cut it up into yeah. a 12 by 12 and I'm not square. Exactly cut that. right. I like my manicure too much. So you take the car caddy when you open it up at the checkout counter as they're scanning. Yeah. Okay, we got that. We got that. You're just going to put everything into the cart caddy as they're scanning. Boom, boom, boom. The beauty of the cart caddy is that it opens so large. Mm -hmm. The fact that it stays with that flat bottom on it, that it will not fall over, but it folds up so like, small. Yeah, it takes up no when space. When it takes up no space, you can put it in your glove compartment. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, and not even notice it as a small footprint in your trunk. Do you know what I think is really important to point out? You may be sitting here thinking, okay, we are loading up this bag, and we are, no, by the way. There's nothing in I mean, it's well, virtually not much gonna, in it right now. We're going to start to load it up, but here's the thing. Don't think that you won't carry this all in one fail swoop, because remember, yep. it holds up to 40 pounds. Sure. You are carrying the 40 pounds anyways with the 13 <laughs> plastic bags, four on this side with the bread Thank and the you. eggs yes. and then seven on the other side it's just a reality you get it so so well courtney <laughs> I, the, the food no the food i bought here when we come back i'll show you there's the checkout line there it is going into the cart caddy there it is you put it in the back of your suv in your trunk that's uh -huh. not going to fall over again no. there's not going to be a tomato under your seat or an orange i've had yeah. this happen but i'm not kidding i get it one time I'm like, I know I bought shaving cream, couldn't find it. It was under the seat, it had fallen over, rolled under the seat. You know, you lose your cell phone underneath the seat. You sure. lose, you know, French fries from the drive through When you don't have good quality products that are supporting your groceries and all that stuff, they're bound to go somewhere. This is all in one spot. And it can hold up to 40 pounds, which is pretty incredible. I, bu I bought $76 worth of food and stuff over here. And I, they said paper or plastic. I said, how about plastic? 17 bags that all went into. What? 
chips? So when you think about it, we can go through thousands of bags a year. Yeah. And then what do you do? You throw them away in the landfill. If you have a yeah. dog, that's usually the only reason why you would want to have any plastic bags left over. Exactly. Exactly. And I think that's a great point. And remember, when we say holds up to 40 pounds, yep. this is something that you're carrying anyways. Because I don't know about you, but I like to grab everything sure. from the back seat of my truck. Throw it in. Because you know what? I got heels on. I don't want to go back out there. Most of the time, I'm in full hair and makeup at like 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, I don't, I'm like not trying to be judged outside. Wait. Like, what's going on? You know, I got to carry it all there. And I'm only making one trip. So that means if the bread doesn't make it, that means that the Pop-Tarts don't yep. make it. They're staying in there till tomorrow. And then it's like a week later. I'm like, my gosh, you, here's breakfast. Wait, you just make me laugh at 5 o'clock in the morning. You're in full heels and makeup. It just sounds funny when you yeah, say it. But you know what? You it's roll true. out of bed the right way. It's true. I, I, you know, work late at night. And it's like, you know what I mean? This is your opportunity. Whether it's during the day. Whether you've got, like, picnics. Where you've got snacks to sure. take for the team. You get a set of two bags that are 14 inches wide, 13 inches high to tackle anything that you need a bag for. We're going to go off to the phones and say good morning to Barbara. Hi, Barbara. I'm Courtney, and this is Jeff. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. I hear you love the cart caddy. I do. This will be my third set because I give them out as gifts. Oh, very Mwah. cool. What do you like about them? Well, they hold much more than they look. And so uh, true. People in stores, especially at Walmart, they'll say, where did you get that bag? Even the managers have asked me. <laughs> oh, very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and they're sturdy. I mean, I love to shop because you know just how much you're going to have in there. Sure. Yeah. Keep putting it in. Then you empty it out, and then they put it back in for you. Oh, that's great. That's awesome, Barbara. Barbara, I love to hear that. And how did you feel about the price and getting a set of two? I think it's a very, very good. I mean, awesome. I would pay... 15 a piece for them. Sure, sure, absolutely. Well, Barbara, thank you so much for calling in. Have a wonderful summer. And congratulations on your third set. Well, thank you so much, and you do the same. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Barbara. Bye. You know what you're, I just thought of? What? When I was taking out of the grocery... You're always thinking. I, <laughs> um, you know what I just thought of? Yeah. When I was at the grocery store today, their cute little printed bags yeah. are like four bucks a pop. And, and they I don't hold them. anything. No. They smash everything. You know, again, this is great for putting the kids' toys and yeah. write their name on the front and say you're going to grandma's. Get your toy bag. Get your toy bag. So like bag. I said, you're going to use it to go to the grocery store, but there's a thousand other uses Get for it. Get your toy bag because grandma's loading you up with chocolate.